Well, hi. Happy Tuesday morning. Hope you had a nice, relaxing holiday weekend. Uh, so just kind of recapping where we are with things. The chromatic scale, which I introduced on Friday, for those of you that uh, were able to watch the video there, is what you're going to play for a grade, not this Friday, but the following Friday, and that'll be the last recording that you do. Um, it's going to be the chromatic scale um, and one other thing of your choice. Anything at all that you would like to show, this is what I've learned and I'm proud of. Okay, very open-ended there. This Friday, you will present me with lyrics to a blues song. If you want to also perform the blues song, you could, but minimally some lyrics. So let's start today. Page 86 in the book, we have Good Morning Blues. And the lyrics to the blues song would follow this pattern that we have here. So we start off. One, two, three. Good morning, blues. Blues, how do you do? Here comes the A7. Good morning, blues. Blues, how do you do? B7. I'm doing all right. Good morning, how are you? Verse two, a lady. is the same as the one we just had. I lay down last night trying to take my rest. And the third line rhymes with the first two. My mind kept rambling like the wild geese in the west. Verse number three, the sun gonna shine. with three verses of lyrics. Each verse has three lines, the first two of which are the same. So the entire song, we could say, fits the structure A, A, A prime, next verse, B, B, B prime, next verse, C, C, C prime. The two letters that are the same means the line is exactly the same. If it's a regular versus prime, it means they rhyme. I hope that explains it there. If you have questions, certainly ask. Okay, onward we go to the chromatic scale. So this was new. Page um, 59 is the page number. And again, the most important thing is that you use the correct fingers for each note. So we start off on the sixth string and we go. Open, one, two, three, four. Fifth string, open, one, two, three, four, fourth string, open, one, now we hold, two, three, let's continue on, two, three, two, three, four, third string, we're only going to do three this time, open, one, two, three, I do not play the fourth fret on this string, now I go to the second string, open, open, one, two, three, Four, open first string. I'm halfway there. I come on down. This is the hardest stretch right here. First string open. Second string, four, three, two, one, zero. Four, three, two, one, zero. Third string, remember, three, three. Third string only goes up to the third fret. So on the way down, I go three, two, one, zero. Fourth string, I'm back to four. Four. Three, I'm gonna hold two, two, three, now I just bring it home. Two, one, open, four, three, two, one, open, four, three, two, one, open. Cool, so some common pitfalls with this. Number one, remember that on the third string we only go up to the third fret. If I do this and play the fourth, then my next note is going to be the same, because the second string open is the same as the third string fourth fret. So I don't play the fourth fret on the third string. Another thing people sometimes forget is on the way down, make sure you play the open string. So let's say I'm on the fourth, uh, the second string here, 
four, three, two, one. Don't forget to play the open string. Then I go on to the next one. I'm going to go through the whole thing at a slow speed. Sixth string. One, two, six string start. And open. One, two, three, four. Fifth string. Open. One, two, three, four. Fourth string. Open. One, and hold. Two, three. Repeat that note. And two, three, four. Third string. Open. One, two, three. Second string. Open. One, two, three, four. First string. Open. I hold that out. I repeat it on the way down. I go open second string. Four, three, two, one. Open third string. Three, two, one. Open fourth string. Four, three. Then hold two. Two, three, coming down again. Two, one, open next string. Four, three, two, one, open next string. Four, three, two, one, open. Okay, so there we have it. You're practicing that for Friday, June the 5th. All right, there we have it. Okay, going to the original song packet now and starting off here early on in the packet let's go to um, the octopus's garden on page one gives us an opportunity to practice the f as a bar chord hopefully that's something you're getting kind of familiar with so we start off reinforcing what it actually means. Just gonna take it from the very beginning of the process. So there's my E major chord. And if I play E major without using my first finger, I refinger it. Now my second finger is on the first 
uh, fret of the third string. And then every time I slide over and lean my first finger across, it goes up a half step. Like that. So with my first finger across the first fret, it's F. Next one's F sharp. Next one's another way of doing G. And G sharp or A flat, both the same thing. Just different names for it. And then A. And there we go. All right, so that's that bar chord right there. The other one, and we're going to do the song Yellow right now. Uh, we have this way of playing the A major chord, uh, strings two, three, and four, without using your first finger. Yellow is page 28. All right, so I do the A like that. I keep my pinky in place and do an E major chord with the rest to get the E6 chord. Lift up the middle two, slide down. That gets me the D9 chord. And then later in the song, when I need F sharp minor, I put my first finger across the second fret, and these two fingers, uh, last two fingers, play what looks like an E minor chord on what is actually the fourth fret. That gives me the full barred F sharp minor chord there. All right, here we go. Briefly gonna. Here's A.
are going to go to the song Leaving on a Jet Plane, giving us an opportunity to practice some finger picking. I kind of let that let that go away last week, but let's uh, let's revive that concept here. So Leaving on a Jet Plane is page 15. Chords are very simple, just G, C, E minor, and D. Very simple there. This is bothering me. It's out of tune. Hold on a second. Little trick for tuning, I don't believe I ever taught this. So let's just pretend that the sixth string is good. All right, I'm gonna hope it is. I play the sixth string, fifth fret. That should sound the same as the fifth string open. Close. Close enough for now. Fifth string, then I move down and I do fifth string, fifth fret. This should sound the same as the fourth string. Also reasonably close. I go to the fourth string, fifth fret. Way off there, so there's my problem. My third string should sound the same, and it does not. It's too low. Let's try that again. I go to the fifth string, fourth fret. Uh, sorry, fourth string, fifth fret. I went too far. This one's the different one. I go to the third string, fourth fret. Remember from the chromatic scale, this should be the same as the second string. Try that again. And now I go to the second string, fifth fret. Now let's try my chord again. It's better. Okay, better than it was. So the trick right there, and this is new, I realize I haven't mentioned this before. On every string, you play the fifth fret, and it should match the sound of the next string. Except when you get to the third string, that's the one that's different, you go to the fourth fret instead. And second string, you go back to the fifth. Okay, jet plane. You can strum. You could do slow finger picking. You could do pluck, strum, strum, strum. Or you could do what I'm going to do, which is fast finger picking. Five, or six, three, two, one, six, three, two, one, five, three, two, one. Or frankly, you can mix it up any way you want. So here we go. One, two, three. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. I'm standing here outside your door. I hate to wake you up to say goodbye. But the dawn is breaking. It's early morn. The taxi's waiting. He's blowing his horn. Already I'm so lonesome I could cry. So kiss me and smile for me. Tell me that you'll wait for me. Hold me like you'll never let me go. I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. I've let you down so many times I've played around I tell you now they don't mean a thing every place I go I'll think of you every song I sing I'll sing for you when I come back I'll wear your wedding ring so kiss me and smile for me Let 
me kiss you, then close your eyes, and I'll be on my way. Dream about the days to come, when I won't have to leave alone, about the times I won't have to say. So as not to leave you hanging on a five chord, we will end with something quick and peppy here. Uh, let's go to our old friend, Brown Eyed Girl, on page number six. Here goes G. See you tomorrow.